Hey everybody. The other day I debunked the idea that nitrates get trapped in our canister filters somehow. And I realized after shooting that video that there's several old chestnuts out there that just keep going around and around and around and just will not die no matter how often they get debunked. So I am going to shoot a video and talk about them as they crop up from time to time. And most recently, since I was talking about the nitrogen cycle, I heard this old gem that keeps going around and around and around. And that is the idea that adding water from an established tank into a new tank will somehow help establish the new tank. And this is simply not true. Adding water from an established tank to a new tank does nothing other than put dirty water in a new tank. That is not going to help you in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't help establish the nitrogen cycle. It doesn't help establish the tank as far as the maturity of the tank or anything. I'm not entirely sure what the idea behind it is, but I've heard both arguments. I've heard the idea that adding water from an established tank will speed up the nitrogen cycle in the new tank. And I've also heard the idea that it'll help sort of establish the tank in the maturity sense. And that's definitely not the case. Uh, with adding water from an established tank. So the idea that you're gonna speed up your nitrogen cycle is completely false because the bacteria that you need to develop in your new tank does not live in the water column. It lives on the surface area in your established tank. So scooping water out of the new tank is not doing anything at all. I've heard people suggest that you're possibly taking some ammonia out of the old tank and putting it into the new tank, thereby giving a food source for the bacteria to build up in the new tank and you can establish your uh, cycle that way. And that's not true. If you've got ammonia in the water in your established tank, then it's not an established tank. An established tank won't have ammonia in the water. It'll have nitrate in the water. That's the point of the established nitrogen cycle. It breaks that ammonia down almost immediately. There are trace amounts of ammonia. The ammonia does get produced and then it does travel through the water column until it comes in contact with your biomaterial and then immediately it is just dealt with and it's broken down and you shouldn't really have detectable amounts of ammonia in your water. So using old tank water to spike the ammonia in your new tank doesn't work. There's no bacteria in it. There's simply no benefit to putting old established tank water into a new tank. Now, if you're trying to speed the cycle along, what you can do is you can take the filter media from an established aquarium and you can do stuff with that. You can either wring out the sponge and wring that into your new tank if you've got uh, if you're setting up a similar size tank and let's say you've got a hang on the back filter, you can take one of the bio pads out and put that in the new filter and that'll give you some sort of starter bacteria that'll get going in the tank. And there's a lot of ways you can do that that will speed up the nitrogen cycle, but the water itself serves no purpose whatsoever. You're just taking spent water, dirty water, water with excess nitrate in it or whatever, and putting it in a new tank, which again, serves no purpose whatsoever. But I do want to take another moment to talk about what happens when you add new biomaterial, like squeezing a sponge or wringing a sponge out or something into a new tank, because I do that all the time and it's a very common method for sort of spiking your uh, nitrogen cycle, but it's not an absolute guarantee that you're going to get an instant brand new cycle started in your new aquarium. Remember, the nitrogen or the, the nitrifying bacteria needs to establish, it needs to live on surface material. It doesn't just swirl around the water column. So if you wring a sponge filter out and you take all that filthy water and you pour it into your new aquarium, that's good but only a small percentage of that bacteria that you've put in there is actually going to attach and establish and set up colonies and begin reproducing and therefore, you know, uh, um, oxidizing the ammonia or eating the ammonia, if you will, and breaking that down into nitrate. So the reason we can do this is because we're putting so much bacteria into this brand new tank that even if only a small percentage of that takes hold and gets established and you know starts setting up colonies and growing, typically a new tank's either not going to have any fish in it or you're only going to have a few fish in it as you get started and you're going to allow that to build and grow and you'll allow your nitrogen cycle to build up to the level that 
new additions are going to go into the tank. So the reason that works is because you're dumping so much of it in there, some of it's going to establish. It's not the fact that you've just put it in the water and it's swirling around the water, just eating up the ammonia. It doesn't work like that. You're putting it in the tank, but it has to establish before it's going to be effective. A good analogy would be for all the gardener people out there that always tell me to uh, unleash the ladybugs on my waterfall tank to eat up the aphids and stuff like that. That's another one of those things that simply doesn't work that way. You don't just unleash ladybugs into your garden and they go through like army ants and just clean out all the other insects. The idea is you release a bajillion ladybugs into your garden and some of them are going to establish territories and begin living in the immediate vicinity and the ones that do that are then going to go on the hunt and are going to be voracious predators and they're going to eat all your aphids and so on and so forth. But you put a bunch of them in there so that some of them establish and then over time you get the benefit of having those ladybugs living in your garden. And the nitrogen cycle is the same way. When you dump all that bacteria in the water, you're just flooding the tank with excess amounts of nitrifying bacteria in the idea that some of it is going to establish and start developing bacterial colonies and so on and so forth. But all of the bacteria that you're dumping in your new tank is not going to establish and just immediately set up this massive nitrogen cycle in a completely brand new tank. It just doesn't work instantly like that. And again, as far as what the topic of the video was, just putting old water in your new tank doesn't accomplish anything at all so don't don't waste your time doing that it's not accomplishing anything at all so thanks for watching hope that was helpful make sure you subscribe you don't want to miss anything else i've got coming up you never know what it's going to be with me don't forget this one here is my garami tank thanks for watching i'll see you real soon in the next one